everyone welcome back to our channel life is better exploring this is brian i'm janet and we're here at the calgary rv expo looking at some of the coolest things that are out this year here at the Calgary RV Expo walking around doing some walkthroughs of some really cool RVs and trailers yep. that we've seen. We found some good ones. Absolutely. So come along with us while we take you around the RV show. If you remember from the end of our last episode, we asked you to take a wild guess as to what this thing is. Well, no, it's not the Lunar Excursion Module. It's the Camp 365. This little tent trailer is labeled as a folding tent cabin. This trailer is lightweight, easy to tow, it's compact, it has an adjustable axle so you can adjust it for any kind of terrain. Its compact size means you can store it easily in a garage or any other tight space. We thought this was a very smart trailer. It's supposed to be very easy to set up. As you can see, it folds out into a large tent cabin. It's supposed to sleep up to six people, and it's easy to see how four people can sleep very comfortably in there. The ceiling alone is over seven feet tall. The way they had this one set up on the inside was a double bed right in front of you there, and then there's a single behind me. There's actually quite a lot of options you can get with this trailer. You can imagine putting some bunks here instead of this single bed. Shown here in this one on the table, you can also see how the kitchen unit rolls in and out through the front side. It comes with a stove, a sink, running water, there's storage below and you, as you can see there. There's also a fridge tucked up underneath that table right in the wall. The floor of the trailer has a rubberized mat system. It's a marine grade rubber. It's easy to keep clean, but they're also removable so you can power wash them off. And here you can see the fridge tucked up under the table. This next trailer is the Cricket. This is a neat little pop-up hybrid. This trailer is still easy to tow. It's only about 2,500 pounds. We thought this trailer makes good use of some lightweight materials and some really interesting concepts. On the details of the trailer, it only says it sleeps two in here. However, you can see these gear storage lofts up here are almost a bunk style. You can almost imagine if you had two small kids, you might be able to fit them up there. Now if you want to lift the top up in the Cricut, all you have to do is take these bars on the right and push them forward and they'll just pop the top up in one movement. There's a fridge on board, there's a table which also pops down for the bed, and there's gear storage up top. The trailer does make good use of the frame itself to actually be able to hang gear and other items.
For a small trailer, we certainly found there's a lot of windows and a lot of ventilation opportunities. Next up we have the Tiger Moth. It's also another travel trailer by Tax Outdoors. So it's going to be a close cousin to the Cricket in design and quality. This is a very efficient little design for a compact trailer. It has a nice gullwing door that also functions as an awning. It has a slide out kitchen here. It also has two beds and plenty of storage underneath. Everything about this trailer says it's built pretty robust. You can definitely tell it's meant to be taken off-road and very rugged terrain. So we're here at Arcan Trailers and they have Viking product and they have this neat little one we're going to go profile right here. This was our first look at the Viking 12.0 XLTD. This is a great little crossover between a teardrop trailer and a tent trailer. It gives you all the benefits of towing a teardrop trailer and the hard side ability. That roof is solid on top, by the way. When you're up close in person, you can definitely tell that Viking put a lot of effort into making sure that this vehicle is meant for the off-road and can take the rough terrain. We really did like this trailer. We thought it was a really cool concept. You're going to get all the benefits of the teardrop, like I said, and you're also going to get the benefits of a hard roof like an A-frame has, and you get some nice storage, you get some outdoor shower, and here we're going to see the mechanism go down in the background. Can you guys see that, how easy it is? It's just a one step, one levered mechanism that puts the roof up and down. Let's take a quick step inside. Here you can see the inside of that hard roof. So if you have someone who's worried about getting hail while they're camping, well, this is a trailer for you. So inside here, where I'm sitting on this gaucho couch that's here, you could probably sleep a small person on. There's also a double bed right in the back. You can see Janet standing up, and you don't lose any headroom until you head right towards the bed. There's a window there behind that little um, cover, and another one on the other side. There's cabinets. There's also a fridge right here, and some more storage under the bed. There's a fridge right here. There's a heater underneath it. There's a stove on top. There's also a sink and running water. You also have an air conditioner inside this unit and plenty of cabinet space. All right, this next one's not an RV. It's a rooftop tent. They had a couple of these set up at the show. We're just gonna show you the one though. It's a Nomadic 4 rooftop tent. You can definitely see why these are becoming very popular among some people. came across these really unique little hybrids at the show. These are actually little toy haulers. 
you can definitely fit a couple of dirt bikes in here or an ATV. This one is the Flyer Explorer. This one has the double pop-outs and the double doors. There's another one coming up you'll see in a second that has the loading ramp on the back and a single pop-out. I thought this was an amazing little option to be both a toy hauler and a small camper. Coming up we have the other Flyer Explorer. The small door in the front there, that's actually a kitchen that slides out on rails. Now you can see that they put in a bunk bed in this one right in the cargo bay. Along with a pop out, this one sleeps three just the way it is. Now we'll see the loading ramp at the back here. This will fit an ATV inside or a couple of dirt bikes. I thought this was a pretty awesome way to get a small trailer and a toy hauler combined all in one. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this one. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you found something you really enjoyed. Make sure you leave in the comments below what you enjoyed the most and don't forget to give us a like. And of course, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos from us. Thanks everyone and life is better exploring. <laughs> oh, and this one comes with a Brian. You and me. So it's got the sliding door into the bathroom. It's worth a lot if it comes with me. That's right. Outdoors. I washed. I washed.